Hey everyone, Igor is here and today I'm going to show you how KubeCloud works with Google Sheets. So here I've got my spreadsheet and the first step to connect it to KubeCloud would be to install the add-on. So I would just go to extensions, add-on, get add-ons, search for KubeCloud. Here it is. Uh, this button says uninstall for me because the add-on is already installed in my Google Workspace organization, but um, you would need to click install right here and make sure it is installed in yours. After it is installed, you can go to extensions, KubeCloud for Sheets, and click show sidebar. The sidebar will appear on the right, and uh, the next step would be to authenticate it to access your KubeCloud data. So you can just click sign in. A model window will appear and you'll need to go through a number of steps there, but once you see access granted, it's done. After that, the data model elements would appear in the sidebar and you can select a deployment and start building your query right away. So I'm very interested in the orders breakdown by year status and uh, this count measure looks particularly interesting so as i build my query uh, the add-on would fetch the data from kubecloud and put it just into my spreadsheet and uh, not only can i choose dimensions and measures but i can also uh, drag the elements right here so if i want to um, status to be a column I can just put it in the columns section and the report would update accordingly I, once I'm happy with what I see here in the report um, I can just go ahead and uh, save it um, so anytime I want this report to update or if for example I uh, accidentally removed some data I can just hit refresh right here and within seconds I'll get fresh data fetched from uh, KubeCloud so here's how this integration works and uh, if you a Google Sheets user definitely give it a try thank you